hi guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'll be showing you how to make the bag handle for this the making of this bag is the same as making of this one so if not watch the video please kindly go and watch the only difference is the size this has 14 at the side and this has 12 beads at the side and when we come to this at the side we have five beads for the bigger one and four beads for the smaller bag and the handle also comes different this one is an across handle a single handle but then this one is going to have two handles two handles so let's get started so i'm going to count up to the second bead up there and place my fishing line make sure to cut the fishing line that you can be able to work with so i'm using 0.7 of the fishing line so I'll pass that fishing line through the second bead, counting from the beginning. Uh -huh. So after passing my fishing line through it, I will make sure to pull out my fishing line to make it equal. Then I'll pick a bit for each side of the fishing line like so. I'll pick a bit for each side of the fishing line. Pick additional bit like this and cross it with the other side of the fishing line. So this is how it should turn out. I'm going to repeat the process by picking a bit for each side of the fishing line. I'll pick one bead for each side of the fishing line like so. Pick additional bead like this and then cross it to the other side of the fishing line. By now you should be able to be doing this because we've been doing this a lot on this channel. Pick a bead for each side of the fishing line like so. Pick additional bead and then cross it to the other side of the fishing line you're repeating this until you think you you are okay with the handle so just repeat the step so guys like i said repeat the step until you have your desired length for the handle of the bag so i'm just going to um, place it on the other side and see if i'm okay with it i think um, this is enough i think this is enough so according to your preference how long or how short you want your bag handle to be okay so once you've achieved this I'm going to place my fishing line this other side. I'm going to use it to pick a bit like this. This side of the fishing line. I'll pick a bit like this. Then I'll count from this end and pass my fishing line through the second bit like this. Pull it out. And then I'll pick another bead. I'll pick another bead like this and then cross it with the other side of the fishing line okay so now after achieving this i'll go ahead and then pass my fishing line through the third bead counting from the from the other side i'll pass my fishing line through the third bead or the next bead after the bead that we passed our fishing line through it so I'll use that same side of the fishing line to pick another bead like this. Pick additional bead and then cross it with the other side of the fishing line. This will make the direction of fishing line to change upward like this. So just as how we match, I'm going to be using this side to be passing through the beads on the side. 
So I'll first pass my fishing line through the first or the immediate side bead like this. Then make sure to be pulling your fishing lines to make this firm. Then I'll use the other side to pick a bead. I'll use the other side to pick a bead like this. I'll pick additional bead and then cross it with the other side of the fishing line. Okay. I'll repeat the step by passing my fishing line through the next immediate side bead like so. To pass through the next immediate side bead like so. I will pick a I will use the other side to pick a bead, pick additional bead, and then cross it to the other side of the fishing line. So, repeat a step by passing your fishing line through the side bead like this. Use the other side of the fishing line to pick a bead like so. Pick additional bead, and then cross it to the other side of your fishing line. So, you are repeating this until the very last side bead on the mat. So guys, like I said, repeat this to the very last bead on the side. Okay, now, this is the last side bead. This is how far I've reached. I just turned the bag to the other way. So the last side bead, pass the fishing line through the last side bead like so. And then pass it through the next bead or the third bead on the other side like this. Like what we did earlier. After that, pick additional bead and then cross it with the other side of your fishing line to close it up. So this is how it should look like. Then tie it up by passing your fishing line. By passing your fishing line through the holes in the bead like this, create a loop and then pull out your fishing line. Repeat this like three or four times. After that, Pass it through some of the beads before you cut off the excess of the fishing line. Do the same for the other side of the fishing line. So like I said, just be passing through some of the beads just to make it more secured before you cut off the excess of the fishing line. So guys, this is it. This is our bag. So now we are going to close it up. Uh, make it quite bulky. So we are going to be folding in the beads like this. So I'm going to skip the bead, the handle. That's on the handle. I'm going to skip the first opposite bead and then skip pass my fishing line through the second bead like this I'll be using the blue bead to be closing it up I'll be using the blue bead to be closing up so I'll use the fishing line to pick a bead like so then I'll pass my fishing line through the opposite bead of the initial bead which has the fishing line Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say. After that, pick another bead and then cross it with the other side of your fishing line. Okay, so after this, you repeat the step by passing your fishing lines through the side beads like this. Then use the other side to also pass through the opposite side bead like so okay 
Okay, then pick a bead. Pick a bead and then cross it the other side of your fishing line. Okay. So you are going to repeat the step by passing your fishing line through the side bead, the two side beads like this. Use the other side to also pass through the opposite side bead. Pick additional bead and then cross it with the other side of your fishing line. Okay, so now repeat the step. Repeat the step by passing your fishing line through the side bead like so. And then use the other side to also pass through the opposite bead like this. Pick another, I mean pick a bead. Pick a bead and then cross it with the other side of your fishing line. You're repeating this to the last end of the mat. You're closing this up. So you're going to repeat the steps by passing your fishing line through the side bead and the other side of the fishing line through the other bead opposite to the first bead, like this. After that, you pick a bead and then you cross it to the other side of your fishing line. It's not necessary to be using um, the blue bead. I just wanted to, to close it up with a blue bead. That's all. So repeat this step until your very last side bead. So guys, like I said, until this side bead. So we are finishing it up by passing our fishing line through the side bead and then through the other side or the other opposite side bead. Then you pick a bead like so and then cross it to the other side of your fishing line. Okay, we are not going to add the last side bead just as we ignored the, the other end of the handle. So just close it up by passing your fishing line through the holes in the bead and pull out your fishing line to tie it up. Repeat this like three or four times and then do the same for the other side of the fishing line. After tying it up, just be passing your fishing lines through the beads before you cut off the excess of the fishing line. This is the same way that you are going to be doing for the other side of the bag handle. Okay, so that is done. Like I said, you are going to do the same for the other side of the bag. Okay, guys, so this is our bag. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.